It took Porsche 53 years to sell a million nine hundred elevens. Porsche has sold 770,000 KN in the 15 years since it was launched in 2002, and the millionth will probably be built in about three years. As much as we love and cherish the sports cars from Stuttgart, Porsche in the 21st century is the house that the Kylan SUV built. It's clear that Porsche didn't want to mess with success, so the new third-generation Cayenne looks a lot like previous Cayenne. Softly rounded front fenders, gaping air intakes, a bulging hood, and the shape of the greenhouse are all clear Cayenne traits that have carried through. It's slightly lower and wider, but Porsche didn't radically alter the formula. It could have, as the 2019 model is entirely new. No sheet metal carries over, and the Kylan is now on a new platform. At this point, though, changing the model into something completely different would make about as much sense as replacing the 911 with a front-engine sports car. You laugh, but that almost happened, C928. Built on the MLB platform that also forms the basis for the Panamera sedan and the most tallest including the Q7 SUV, the Kylan retains its 113.9-inch wheelbase. But the new architecture brings more aluminum to the structure, which reduces mass slightly. The longitudinally mounted engine is located just ahead of the front axle, which contributes to the V8-powered Kylan carrying 57% of its weight up front, a very Audi-like number. The lighter V6 models are slightly less nose-heavy. The familiar and excellent ZF Source State Speed Automatic bolts directly to the engine and now incorporates the front differential. Order the Sport Chrono package, $1,130, and the transmission adds a launch control function that reduces 0 to 60 mph times by about 0.3 seconds for each engine, according to Porsche. Power Trio the 2019 Kylan will be available in three strengths, with each rung of the Kylan ladder adding roughly 100 horsepower and lopping about a second off the sprint to 60 miles per hour when the Kylan arrives at dealers in July, it will start at $66,750. The base version comes with a turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 pushing 340 horsepower and 332 pounds to foot of torque an engine shared with the base Panamera and Audi's S4 and S5. Responsive and quiet, the single turbo 3.0-liter has 40 more horsepower than the outgoing Kylan and moves the approximately 4,500-pound SUV with satisfying ease. It pulls smoothly, never calls much attention to itself, and feels appropriately powerful. The factory claimed 0 to 60 mile per hour time is 5.6 seconds with launch control or 5.9 without. The base engine's biggest problem is that two stronger options exist. For an additional $17,200 over the entry level version, Porsche will bolt its 440 horsepower twin turbo 2.9 liter V6 into the Kylan S, which drops 0 to 60 mile per hour times to 4.9 seconds. 4.6 with launch control. Compared with the base engine, the extra power and the 405 pounds to foot of torque are immediately noticeable. Passing power is superb, and the S has an eagerness that's missing from the base engine. The twin turbo V6 also has a louder and grittier growl from 3000 revolutions per minute to redline than does the base 3.0 liter. Aside from the sound of the V6 working, there's little else that disturbs the cabin as road and wind noise are kept to luxury car levels. At the top of the Kylan cast is the turbo model, arriving in the fall of 2018 and priced at $125,650. It now boasts 550 horsepower, 30 more than before, and 567 pounds to foot from the twin turbocharged 4.0-liter V8. According to Porsche, the new turbo outperforms the previous Turbo S model, whose twin turbo 4.8-liter V8 put out 570 horsepower. A claimed 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 3.7 seconds is astonishing enough before you consider that Porsche's acceleration reports are almost always conservative. The last Turbo S we tested hit 60 in 3.8 seconds, it's no surprise that of the three engines, the V8 sounds the best. 
graced with a smooth and deep voice and a booming exhaust, the V8 seems to pride itself in announcing its V8-ness, but it isn't as loud as the thundering Mercedes-AMG V8 of the same displacement.